Are you looking for the best gaming keyboard? But don't know which one to choose because of the different options that are available on the market. In this video, I will show you the top 5 best gaming keyboard of 2023 and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, onlybest.com. Number 5. Razer Huntsman V2 TKL The Razer Huntsman V2 is a solid, accessible, off-the-shelf gaming keyboard from a major brand. It's available in both 10 keyless and full-size layouts, has a fairly subdued look for a gaming keyboard, and its ultra-fast polling, optical switches, and Razer Synapse software set it apart from more conventional boards. It's the one I'd recommend to most people buying their first gaming keyboard. The Huntsman V2 is available with either clicky or linear optical switches, which use an interrupted beam of light to register keystrokes and provide a faster response than standard mechanical switches. The limited selection may discourage some DIY hards, but considering that linear switches are the weapon of choice for most gamers, I don't think it's a glaring issue. My colleague John Porter, in his review of the Huntsman V2, found the linear switches built-in sound dampening gave them a mushy feel. But I didn't mind them. Most people won't notice the difference between the Huntsman V2's 8000 Hz polling rate and the 1000 Hz rate of most wired keyboards. We're talking 125 milliseconds versus 1 millisecond. But at least it means your reaction time, not the connection speed, is your limiting factor. The V2's other features are more noticeable. The PBT keycaps feel nicer and don't shine as quickly as ABS and the sound damping foam helps keep noise down a bit. The Huntsman V2 comes in both 10 keyless and full-size layouts. Unless you really want a built-in number pad, the TKL should be your first choice, since it lets you keep your mouse closer. The full-size version does have a volume knob and media controls above the number pad, but it doesn't have a detachable USB cable. Number 4. Razer Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed The Black Widow V3 Mini Hyperspeed is Razer's first 65% gaming keyboard. This layout makes for a good compromise for anyone that wants a keyboard with a smaller footprint that retains directional arrows and navigational keys. Besides the layout, the biggest selling point for the Black Widow V3 is its wireless connectivity. While wireless mechanical keyboards are increasingly common, Bluetooth's relatively pokey 125Hz polling rate isn't ideal for fast-paced gaming. The Black Widow V3 can connect to up to three paired devices with Bluetooth, but for gaming, you're much better off using the included hyperspeed wireless dongle. Its 1000 Hz polling rate is as fast as most wired keyboards. The dongle is also compatible with Razer's hyperspeed mice and headsets, so you can use a single dongle to connect multiple peripherals. Battery life isn't bad either. I was able to keep the V3 running for around 17 hours with the RGB lighting on its highest setting, and Razer claims it can last for up to 200 hours with the backlighting off. Just like other Razer keyboards, the Black Widow V3 uses proprietary switches. They're available in linear or clicky varieties and are virtually indistinguishable from the popular red and blue cherry style switches used in the majority of mechanical keyboards. The overall typing experience is quite good, although at this price, it would have been nice to get some type of sound dampening for the chassis or quieter stabilizers to improve the acoustics. Also, just like Razer's other keyboards, the PCB isn't hot swappable. Number 3. Wooting 60 He On the surface, the Wooting 60. He doesn't do much to grab your attention, but the secret is in the switches. While other keyboards are busy bragging about higher polling rates, Wooting's Lecker switches offer a genuine advantage for the gamer willing to put in some work. Instead of registering key presses by physically closing a circuit, they use a magnetic field to sense the position of a magnet inside the switch. Their biggest edge is the customizable actuation point, which lets you adjust how quickly your keyboard registers and resets from individual keystrokes. This feature also allows you to map different commands to the same key based on how much pressure you put on it and offers translation of true analog movement on your keyboard, similar to what you'd experience with a gamepad. Rapid Reset 
which stops the key input as soon as you let up on the pressure, can provide a tangible advantage over other gaming keyboards in twitchy first-person shooters like Apex Legends or Counter-Strike. Aside from the switches, the Wooting 60 HE is a pretty standard 60% keyboard, with features like PBT keycaps, a detachable USB-C cable, and included sound dampening foam. One nice touch, it's compatible with most standard 60% keyboard cases. I popped the PCB and plate into a Tofu 60 case with no problems. Wooting also makes a full-size keyboard, the Wooting 2 HE with the same switches. For those who will take advantage of them, the Wooting 60 HE's analog switches and customizability justify the above average price. But unless you're going to use both of these features, the 60 HE is a tough sell. If you're looking for a keyboard to tear open and mod, there are other options on this list that don't cost nearly as much. Number 2. Asus Roji Azoth The Asus Roji Azoth was announced at CES 2023, and it's already set the bar for the year. Between a silky, smooth typing experience, hot swappable switches, speedy response times, and plenty of premium extras, you're covered for both gaming and everyday productivity and style here. That's because Asus has taken its inspiration from the custom keyboard market, building an off-the-shelf 75% deck with three layers of sound dampening foam in its gasket-mounted chassis. That means every keystroke has a soft landing with no reverb around the main body, thanks to the pre-lubed stabilizers. But the NX switches under the hood also offer a satisfying clack to each silky smooth press. Pair that with a speedy debounce and nippy response times, and you've got yourself a fast deck with all the comfort of an enthusiast-level set of keys. That's not easy to find in a wireless keyboard. We often find that hot swappable decks sacrifice these kinds of speeds to save space for luxury typing. However, the Asus ROG Azoth proves you can have it all. Add three levels of ergonomic comfort a flexible and surprisingly high-quality OLED display panel, and space for up to six profiles in the onboard memory, and you have yourself an all-in-one powerhouse. No other gaming keyboard on the market can achieve this kind of spec sheet right now. Some have tried. Corsair's K70 Pro Mini took its first stab at a mainstream hot-swappable deck last year, for example. However, the overall experience on offer here in unparalleled, making it the best gaming keyboard on the shelves right now. Number 1. Mountain Everest Max The Mountain Everest Max is technically a full-size gaming keyboard. I say technically because it's modular. The main chassis looks like a conventional 10 keyless board. The Max also includes a number pad that can be attached to either side and a multifunction media dock that can attach to either the top left or top right of the main chassis. This flexibility, its build quality, and other features make it a strong contender especially for folks who prefer the number pad on the left. The number pad has four macro buttons at the top that can be customized with JPEGs from your library. The media dock functions largely like the dedicated media controls that you'll find on other full-size gaming keyboards, with buttons for controlling playback and a bezeled dial for controlling volume. However, the dial also has a small screen that can adjust the lighting on your keyboard, check system resource usage, or just show you the time. Overall, it's a pretty cool piece of engineering that makes better use of the space usually reserved for rudimentary media functions. The modular design is the Everest Max's biggest differentiator, but it also has the best build quality of any off-the-shelf keyboard I've tested, and its RGB lighting can be synced with Razer's Chrome software. It has hot swap switch sockets, though they only support three-pin switches. If you'll take advantage of its modularity, the Everest Max is worth every penny. It's one of the very few ways to get a gaming keyboard with a Southpaw number pad, for example. And the dock system lets you add a bunch of functionality to your desk without a bunch of wires. But the high price for the Everest Max is a high hurdle. And if you buy piecemeal, it's even more expensive. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. It's free. Let us know in the comments down below which best gaming keyboard you're going to choose. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.